What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing the game Judgment, and if you like game reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to help support the Superfina channel, we have Patreon and channel membership. Links to those will be available in the description. Today, we are reviewing the game Judgment, published by Sega for the PS5. Shout out to Sega for sending me a code, give me this opportunity to review the game Judgment. Judgment is set in the same world as Yakuza, but it can be its own story and it's a good story! Like oh my gosh! If this was not a game, I would think that this is a Japanese drama series. For example, the beginning part where they're introducing the characters after you do the prologue, oh the production, the cinematic effects is so good. It made me think of like Game of Thrones or something like that. It was oh it was so good. Like I would totally watch this on the Kiku Japanese channel. And if you don't know what the Kiku Japanese channel is, that's Hawaii's Japanese channel, okay? For the game, we have a protagonist. His name is Yagami. He used to be a lawyer and now he's a detective. And he used to be a really good lawyer. Like he won a lot of his cases. He even won tough cases. And one of his tough cases, he proved someone innocent. And something happened. That client ended up killing his girlfriend. So Yagami was super guilty about that. And he questioned himself as a lawyer. He questioned his ability to judge. So that's where the title judgment comes from. And in the game, they explain why he became a detective. Not just because from the incident, but because of his beliefs in the system and such. There's parts in the game where he talks about how he can't trust his judgment and how as a lawyer, as a lawyer, when that case is closed, you stop working on that case. But as a detective, he has that control to keep working on that case, to keep finding the truth. And that's where his passion is, finding that truth. And he'll do anything he needs to do to find that truth. During the gameplay, we are investigating areas, we're interviewing people, and we're looking for clues. Now this part over here, when we're looking for clues, there's going to be a section where you're focusing on this area and then when you detect something, you have to like press X and it'll analyze it. This part, I was like, oh my gosh, where are my clues? Because some of them you can't really see. Fortunately, when you gain skill points, you can apply those skill points on the third team. And when I upgraded my search, it made things so much easier. Like as soon as I got close to that item I was looking for, my controller would vibrate or I would see something shiny. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier. Then when you're interviewing people, you need to pay attention to the dialogue because later on, whatever you're interviewing these people on, what they say will come back and you have to combine everything you've collected to help you solve the case. Then as you're working on the case, you run into thugs, right? Just like in any other Yakuza title, you run into thugs. You run into people who are belligerent and want to fight you. And you know what? Yagami can fight, yo! He knows how to kick butt and he has two types of styles. He has one style for a group of enemies and one style for just one enemy. Yagami fights differently from the other protagonists in the Yakuza series. He doesn't fight like a thug. He is fighting with a proper martial arts style and it looks amazing. It looks like he could be in a movie with like Jet Li and whatnot. What I like about Judgment is there's no fluff. It's very straightforward. Whatever you're doing in the game is to progress in the story. There's no fetch quests. There's no side quests. Like even if you do see some side quests, you can totally ignore those and focus on the main story. Normally in games that have skill points to apply on skills, upgrading skills and such, I would grind to get those skill points so I can get the best skills and apply that to my gameplay so I can progress the story as smooth as possible possible so I don't have to struggle so much with the fighting. 
when I was playing Judgment, I didn't really have to do that. I pretty much just focused on the story and whatever I had to do to get through the story, I did it. And I just collected skill points as I went along. Like I saw thugs, like, oh, hey, there's some thugs on the way to my mission. I'll fight them, get some skill points there. Okay. And I didn't have to upgrade my skills ASAP. Like I was doing pretty good on my own. It was only when I knew I was getting to a quote box quote that I was like, okay, I need to upgrade my skills so I can go through this smoothly. And bruh, upgrading those skills makes a difference. One of the things I did was I increased my damage and whew, if I did not do that, I was gonna die multiple times. And I know I keep talking about progressing in the story as smooth as quick as possible and that's because i have questions the story is so good not only is the story but the characters like in the beginning i was talking about the characters and how mysterious they are and i got questions i want to know why they are in the predicament they are and i'm only going to be able to find out as i play the game i'm not exaggerating when i say that it feels like i'm watching a tv drama like it totally feels like I'm watching a Japanese version of Law and Order. When we get to the next scene, I'm imagining the dun dun sound. Those of you who are familiar with Law and Order, y'all know what I'm talking about. With the theme of Megami being a private detective, investigating, solving cases, that theme is throughout the game. Judgment will plant information here and there, and you don't know if it's important or not until it pops back up later on. So as I was playing, I'll notice some things. I'm like, okay, that's different. That's really unique in that scene. I wonder if that's going to be important later on. And I have such a satisfaction when my theory comes true. I'm like, ching ching, I'm right. So not only am I having fun playing the game, with the story, but I'm also having fun theorizing, predicting, and confirming on my predictions. The characters in this game are really interesting, and we're gonna start with Yagami. So they start him as a lawyer, and then he became a detective, right? But throughout the game, we learned that he had a supporter financially to become a lawyer, and this guy was high up in a Yakuza. So my question is, okay, how did you get involved with this Yakuza? And why was he supporting you? Was he supporting you so you could be a lawyer and help with his group, his family and such? What happened? And then we have Kaito, someone who's working with Yagami in his agency, who's an ex-Yakuza. Now the question is, why is he an ex-Yakuza? What happened? What did he do? He got kicked out of family. You gotta do something really bad to be kicked out of the family. And there's also the side characters like Shintani, who is also a lawyer. He used to hate Yagami, but he viewed him as a rival in the beginning of the game, in the story part. He was giving Yagami such a hard time. He was so salty, so sour. He was being a little, you know what, like you just want him to shut up. But after Yagami became a detective, Shintani was a proper lawyer. Like he knew how to do his job. But the thing is, why was he like that to Yagami? Why is he a good lawyer, but he has such a bad attitude? You just want to know more about these characters. You want to know their story. And the game explains it little by little. I love it. And that's my review for Judgment for the PlayStation 5. What did you think about the game? What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link will be available in the description. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos do like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real-time conversation. You guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I also host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, the link to the podcast will be available in the description. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was the Superfina channel reviewing the game Judgment, published by Sega for the PS5. Hope you guys like this video and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. 
don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there, and I will see you on the next video. This bump. <laughs>